I'm at the top of Wave Rock, having a look over this vast land of Australia. Five kilometres from Hyden, which is south west of Perth, about 400 kilometres. Trying to block the sun as I see, I'm trying to <laughs> be smart. Aren't they beautiful? I don't know, there's something magical about this country. I can see why the indigenous don't want us to mine. Anyone who actually gets out of their office in their home and comes out to explore the world and the, the power of doing that is that as you integrate it into yourself. There I am. Woohoo. I love shadow puppets. <laughs> I'm a little bit far to be able to do a birdie. <laughs> We're very disconnected, extremely disconnected from all this. And it's impossible for people to consciously see or understand that because you know you only know what you know unless you step out of your comfort zone and start to look around and question. You know, we're at the eve before the federal election. I feel quite certain that Tony Abbott will get in. I think it'd be very surprising if he didn't. But like John Howard, it's kind of been a battle of attrition, you know, with they just stay put and eventually they win. So we're not talking about merit so much here. We're talking about connections and political affiliations and power brokers who are the ones ultimately deciding who gets in and who doesn't. I think there's some very big issues in Australia and across the world regarding democracy and what it really is. I mean, I came in here to Wave Rock and I was told the Shire owns the rock. I'm assuming it's ownership or maybe it's stewardship, but they have a, a charge of $6 to walk up this rock, which is here on this planet. Actually, nobody owns it. And yet, we create authorities that say they do on our behalf. But I didn't vote for the local shire here. <laughs> That's what I was thinking as I was being told. But I was told since I'm staying at the caravan park that the entrance is covered. Which is probably to make it easier on people paying $38 for a powered site with a tent if you're two people. $38 is a lot of money here. So, um, back to politics, since that's the uh, vibration that's happening at the moment. And what I would like to say, I suppose, to the Australian people is that I don't really think, you know, people are interested in our viewpoint. I do believe in the majority having wisdom. But I don't think I've ever heard the majority's voice. I think it's very important that we start to take responsibility for our planet and the things that affect our lives. And if we really don't like those things, you don't have to jump up and down and become violent and aggressive, but you can speak up and I really do believe in speaking up I think people have to voice their concerns and that's the only way people can get a sense that something's not working it's like in any situation if somebody is dominant for a long time and let's say it's children or it's families or it's friends choose to say nothing and they say oh well what's the use that person in truth never really knows how they're impacting on others they just they just assume that it's fine because nobody's saying anything and often I mean I can remember hearing that it was Rupert Murdoch because he's been a subject of this election with Rupert Murdoch saying well you know nobody complained about you know journalistic you know um, integrity so no one said anything to me because they were too frightened to speak to him but my thought was at the time they should have spoken up. Maybe some did. Maybe, I mean, there was an internal um, unit to deal with disputes. 
but as we all know with internal units they tend to promote the company line they're not independent which is what a mediator should be which is probably why uh, Rupert never heard <laughs> you know the complaints <laughs> they never reached him and that's what happens when you become uh, a sort of a dominant figure people are too afraid to speak up and tell you the truth and, you know, I think a lot of these leaders um, really believe what they're doing. You know, it's fine because no one's complaining. So democracy is very important and it's not about Western values. It's actually about the people's having a say over what affects them. You know, and whatever people are doing in the name of people, you know, representatives, those people should have a say, particularly when the justification is that they're doing it in the name of other people or they're saying I'm a nation state and I represent these people. That's why democracy is important. Because the people are a good they're a good indicator of, you know, what's going on and people as a whole, you know, they're the ones that are actually creating that state through their effort and hard work and trying to raise families. And I totally do not subscribe to the idea that they are the dumb masses, like some in hierarchy believe, that they, they don't respect them. But those people in hierarchy have forgotten what it's like to be in situations of subordination, where it's not quite so easy to break through some of those ceilings. When you've had power for a long time, you just take it for granted and you think it's easy. And to some degree, you lose respect for people who don't have it. And yet that is an illusion. Those people, you know, are in situations because of a whole host of reasons. So from my point of view in respect of this election, I don't think it matters who gets in power. I, I really truly don't think there's any difference between the two brands. They both lean to the right. They both are, have made it very clear that they are advocating for business interests. We've seen the carbon tax being dropped in a, in a, in a time in human history where we've uh, got serious climate change issues and I would say to any people who are saying it's, you know, it's got to do with time and that these things have happened before, I'd say that's denial definitely. Um, the melting of the ice caps is the real clear indicator and I definitely got that in meditation. That for me was where the truth is. Those ice caps melt, there's no bounce off with the heat going back out into space. It actually absorbs into the water, heats the currents. Electromagnetic energy is coming in more intense rates and we may find ourselves with a pole shift. And then I, then I watch with, with great fascination to see what the skeptics will say next. You know, denial is very powerful and it's very easy to be a naysayer. It's much harder to face the truth of matters and take full responsibility for the shape of the planet. And what I say to the business community, if you're polluting this planet, stop. Because you can't, you can't justify and say that this is for your children that you're working. If those children don't have a future, your children, well then you're kidding yourself and you're simply frightened to change and you're just simply looking at other people in very much a mindset of groupthink where you're just simply saying to yourself, well no one else is changing, why should I? Just think of your children would be my answer and look into their eyes and really ask yourself am I doing the best I can for my children am I securing their future now without an environment we collapse this environment as we're collapsing our economies what then at what point do we wake up and start to realize that we're actually part of this planet we aren't in islands of cities separate from the natural world we are the natural world so as we ignore the signs from nature, we actually ignore ourselves. It's very deep. So, going back to the election, I don't think it matters who gets in. They are caught in, an, in a system which is not able to respond to the environment. 
it will respond always to the power brokers. So until those power brokers change, have epiphanies, have some sort of life shift, it will be business as usual. But I, you know, personally I'm not that pessimistic. I think there are lots of other factors that haven't been taken into account. And I think uh, things will change. I'm, I feel quite certain where our consciousness is shifting. And I do think eventually we'll come to the point where we take full responsibility for our world. So on that note, I think I will leave you to it, whatever you're doing in your day. I send great love and peace. And let's look after this extraordinary planet. And remember that to be the change you wish to see in the world, and each individual does matter. <laughs>